Hi y'all, I thought I would just play this for you because it kind of explains why the guy was so nice to me. And maybe you don't really, like I, the stalker cut it out of the final product, which is crazy y'all. And it might be in the editing video, but I don't know how many people are going to watch that. So let me play it for you real quick because it kind of explains the bus driver's behavior. Regularly since I was about seven or so. And I took my first plane to when I was seven, got the little wings and everything, and got put on a plane and taken off a plane. And, um, I've, flown, I've flown a lot. I've flown so much that I actually thought I was kind of pushing my luck at one point because I would fly back and forth from France and to South Korea and everything like that, and it just felt like a lot. So I made like little rules for myself, like the Pacific. I wouldn't fly over the Pacific Ocean at night anymore. It was just really funny. So I stopped flying. For I hope you can hear it. I wanted to kind of like reset my statistics to not being, you know, scary as heck. And um, anyway, so I took a little plane hiatus and started driving around. It was nice. But on this trip, there was 150 16 year olds, and we were trading with 150 Australians. They're trying to make me look like C's daughter, y'all. C's daughter is this kind of creepy girl that looks like this, but blonde. It's very strange. Her face is very odd looking. And a lot of y'all may know her on Reddit as Daisy Bill 2. But she's actually a stalker of mine. And I'm not trying to look like her. This is malware changing my face a little bit. It's very odd, y'all. All these women, they want to say that I look like them. But if you look at them, they're actually trying to look more like me. They get sleeves, like gastric sleeves. They do their hair longer. They try to have red hair sometimes or dark red hair. They get their eyebrows dyed. They do nose jobs. It's like insane what people do to look like me. And I'm just a person, y'all. But it's for money, it's not for anything else. Oh, I hope. Or so. And I took my first plane to when I was seven, got the little wings and everything, and got put on a plane. And yeah, I don't know what the hell they keep wanting to say that for. Let's see, that's in the actual video. I had so much fun. We went to vineyards, we went and parties, we went to, like so many things. Here, let's see. Remember, my brother's crazy and he keeps closing. They keep showing people with their eyes closed to indicate people that made blind reports about me, but they didn't. They just were told to by him, and then they went in and told people how wonderful I was because he's nutty. But on this trip, there was 150 16 year olds, and we were trading with 150 Australians. So, and it was our summer, their winter. We got on the plane and it was like 110 degrees and we got off the plane and it was like 50. It was kind of depressing, but it was beautiful there and I really had a great time. I just loved it, y'all. And we went to all kinds of things because you can drink in Australia at that time. You can drink at 16. Which is and true. we just had so much fun. It's called supplied we or sourced to alcohol. We went to parties, we went to like so many things. It was not the first time that I had whiskey. But it was the first time that I had whiskey also every day. <laughs> Texas actually has the same rule, but people don't follow it like in restaurants. I experiences where they repeat in my life. Okay, so we go ahead and put that there. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these people, y'all. It's like I didn't include something that they wanted me to, so they took out something I wanted to include, which is just... Shows you how petty they are. Everybody else got off the bus. I mean, he's like, well, let's see. So, um, anyway, I have all of these experiences that are like totem experiences, and they kind of repeat in my life. See, I don't know why they keep doing that. That's not my head, y'all. It's the weirdest thing. It's like the mouth isn't matching the words I'll either. Mention again, but anyway. And this is before I knew about, like, service or anything. I was just, just can't stand to see people behind. Okay. Because they're, like, totem experiences where they repeat in my life. Hold on. Let's see. You know, scary as heck. And, um, anyway. So, I took a little plane hiatus and started driving around. It was nice. But, on this.
this trip, there was 150 16 year olds, and we were trading with. And we just had so much fun. We went to vineyards, we went and parties, we went to, like so many things. It was not the first time that I had whiskey, but it was the first time that I had whiskey almost every day. Pack, <laughs> y'all. I have these experiences. They're like totem experiences where they repeat in my life. Hold on, I'm to remember it. Let's see, maybe it's in the middle of the story. But they try to like move the cat in front of the story and it's crazy y'all i did not hurt a cat in australia a cat my brother hurt a cat while i was gone but i didn't haven't hurt a cat in my lifetime it's very strange both my ex-husband and my brother have tried to blame me for them hurting cats i don't know why <laughs> these experiences they're like totem experiences where they repeat in my life Hold on, remember it give me mr fluffy okay. um, I so um anyway i have all of these experiences that are like totem experiences and they kind of repeat in my life see your and, hair um, i wonder what is with this girl's hair i can't stand it because they they make my hair look bad i'm really careful with my hair y'all and this girl goes after my hair just about every week in some fashion. Someone it has lost control of their person for sure. Like two weeks from leaving. And so I ended up feeding most of the people in Hawaii because nobody had any money left. Yeah. But I was like two weeks from leaving. And oh, so I ended They keep messing this up. Y'all, my mom wired me money. It wasn't my brother. It was my mother. It's so funny. I can promise you 100% because I had the bank account. It was my so, money to wire. Um, anyway, I have all of these experiences that are like totem experiences and they kind of repeat in my life. And, um, sorry, popsicle melts on the floor or something. So, part of it you'll find very kind of scary almost. Not scary like terrifying, but scary like questionable. My mom had wired me some money, but I was like two weeks from leaving. And so I ended up feeding most of the people in Hawaii because nobody had any money left. And it was really fun to do that. They're all really nice guys. Some of them were huge, like huge guys. And they needed to eat, you know. That's something else that I do a lot that I'll mention again. But anyway, uh, this is before I knew about like service or anything. I was just, just can't stand to see people behind. Okay, see? That's the story. I just wanted y'all to hear that story so you wouldn't think the bus driver had completely lost his mind. Because, you know, I was very pretty, but it doesn't, it wasn't because I was very pretty. It was because of that. Because I spent like $300 buying people food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Hawaii because they literally had no food whatsoever. So by the time we got to California, the tour people, the people that sent us to Australia in the first place, had vouchers ready for us to use for food, right? So that's why he was so nice to me. I just wanted to make that clear. It wasn't because of, you know, my incredible beauty or whatever. Just so everybody understands that. That's why the program says it's so tricky to tell people the nice things you do because you get into quagmires like this but I'm just saying that's what happened is I was really nice I couldn't stand to see them do and I've done that before and I'll tell you about that also um, in another video I guess because feeding people is something I like to do and I do it a lot and I enjoy doing it as much as I possibly can which is what made people stealing like four thousand dollars worth of DoorDash for me so frustrating is because this guy here at the apartments here Sorry, I just woke up again, y'all. Yeah. But it's like the, the guy from the apartments, you know, he set up this fake DoorDash thing to sort of dispatch his cronies to get free food for themselves. 
And that's what made me so furious is because that's the one thing I do for people that I do religiously that I've done my whole life. And my mom did also was to get food for people that need it. You know, people, my mom's bought whole carts full of groceries before. That's just what you have to do. And it's, it's difficult to see people acting so crazy. And they're getting crazier by the day, y'all. It's so funny. It's like now they're trying to to acquire reasons for people to feel bad for them and stuff. It's a nightmare. But just remember, if it was me doing all these bad things, they wouldn't have a bit of pity for me, and I would have been in jail long ago for it, and they would have seized all my assets and thrown me in the quagmire of heat and pain. But these people seem to sort of just excuse themselves and go on with things, which is crazy because, I mean, if you look at the bank statement, you can't see it on your regular bank statement. But on the bank statement from the bank, when it shows who actually got the money, it's a whole different company than DoorDash. So there's no way for the consumer to know that he was doing that. But he was doing that, which is crazy. Thousands and thousands of dollars. And not just me. I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars from other people, too. And so it's it's really upsetting. So that's one reason why it made me so upset, is because I have spent thousands of dollars feeding people that need to eat already. I didn't need someone to steal from me. I don't ever refuse service to another person if I think that they're not shamming. It's just nutty. And remember, we were traveling, so we had already been in Australia for six weeks. But then we had a whole almost week of traveling to come back because we had to go to New Zealand for a few days. We went to Sydney for a few, for a few days. We were in Hawaii for almost two days. And then we were in Los Angeles for 10 hours, Denver for eight hours, and Houston for six hours. So these people were starving. Because they had only budgeted enough for six weeks. They forgot about the extra, you know, 10 days of traveling that we had after that. That was wonderful, but still. So it's not like they were, so they weren't shamming. They were legit 16 year olds that were like, oh, you know, I guess we have, it's not just like get on the plane and get off a plane. We have like five days of tra travel in between. And 16 year olds are hungry. So that's what I did, you know. It's like when my own kids were 16. I gave up my food so they could eat because I had to divide up all my food in two portions instead of three. It was just crazy. But anyway, hold on. This thing's going to make a flushy noise in a second. It's always so funny. And that's why these families of these teachers I used to work with are perfectly horrible people. It's really sad. Like horrible people. Norbert's upset. And at the beginning of every month, they hurt animals for pain pills. And it's just kind of, it always takes me about a week to get over it. Because this time, the guy, because when he first got here, he had a cat like Norbert that he kept injuring. And that I fell in love with because sometimes he would trade it out for my Norbert. Because you can, you used to be able to open my door at the bottom a crack enough to let the cat out. So he would switch out the cat. And then he would switch him back. And then he he really hurt my Norbert when I started doing my the duplicate Norbert. When I started filming the videos. And that's all in the beginning of these videos that you'll see. And then he, um, he ended up being injured for about a month. Like, you know, I'm basically incapacitated, like. A paraplegic or something. 
And that was like October to November. And then in November, he got a kitten. And he hurt the kitten at the beginning of December. And then he killed the kitten at the beginning of January. And now he seems to have another one, which is why Norbert is freaking out. Last night he was unable to rest because there was a cat, a kitten clearly downstairs or cats making a huge amount of noise. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm sorry for telling her at the end of the happy video, but like and subscribe and um, I hope y'all will. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear feedback. You can email me privately at kw4245 at gmail.com. Or you can respond, comment, like, subscribe, or dislike, report. And um, But thank you for interacting the video with the video in any way that you want. I appreciate it. Except for by downloading it, re-editing it, uploading it like the stalker keeps trying to do.